Montal, Montal, Montal. Another rose fragrance, really? My people, white people, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time seeing my face, then salutations. My name is Priscilla and I make videos to help you smell good, look good and feel good. So if that's something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing, like this video and let's get right into the video of today. So apologies guys, it's a different filming setup but this fragrance, I definitely need to get into it. I need to talk to you guys about it. So forgive the different filming setup, I am actually multitasking at the moment and I just thought, you know what, I need to somehow find a way to give the people what the people want. So today we'll be working with this background and hopefully by the next video we'll be back to our usual filming setup. Okay guys, so the people put a call through to me. And what the people want, of course the people get. We're talking about Montal's latest perfume fragrance release, which is called Crazy in Love. It was released on the 5th of May, I think if I'm correct. And I'll be doing a first impressions video for you, telling you what I think about it, all about it. And just to give this video a bit of structure, I'll be talking about it in five P categories, which would be the packaging, performance, projection, price and i'll be finishing it off with my personal thoughts so if that's something you're interested in then let's get right in so the fragrance comes in this package in this gold bag um which i really like um yeah i like gold you guys know with my jewelry like all i wear is gold and it comes in this oops <laughs> So it comes in this box and obviously you know montal fragrances come with like uh the fragrance is not in here but in this like silk bag and let's get the fragrance out that's it so it's in a gold bottle now when i first bought when i bought my first montal fragrance which was intense cafe and it arrived in this gold bottle i thought to myself oh my god like have i bought the fake have i been scammed but don't worry the 50 ml of montal fragrances usually come in this gold bottle and then the 100 ml you'd usually have like the fragrance theme color so for crazy in love the color i think is pink so the bigger bottle which is the 100 ml is pink. Montal fragrances also usually don't come with the bottle cover. They come with this clip, which I think just is supposed to hold the atomizer in place so that the fragrance does not evaporate and like, you know, lose its effervescence. I don't know if that's the correct English word, but yeah, like so that it doesn't lose its smell so that it can last longer. I think that's the whole point of this clip. Um, so yeah, that is it in terms of the package. Now, in terms of the performance, um, I'll just spray it on. Now I have smelled this before, so this is not like the first time I am smelling it. I, I smelled it when it, it arrived. So I'll just spray it again for you guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I like it. Like, I like it. Well, I know you guys will be interested in the notes. So let me get the notes off my phone for you very quickly. Fragrance. So for the top notes, it's got saffron, rose petals, cardamom, juicy lemon. In the heart notes, it's got sandal for my sword that's the first time i'm hearing that note it's got rose violet leaves and fresh accords in the base note it's got intense amber vanilla and brown sugar it's also got white musk and oak moss in it so it's got loads of things going on there in the top note it's got that saffron which i can definitely smell i personally think like saffron is like a middle eastern very popular middle eastern spice um and i can definitely smell that it has a very strong rose projection in there and it's a bit sweet so when i i have like i said i have sprayed this before and when it dries down it dries down quite sweet and that's because of the amber the brown sugar and the vanilla in there now this is the first fragrance that i own that has that brown sugar note in it which i really really like it kind of gives me a similar vibe to um let's bring the fragrance into the you know so it kind of gives me the same vibe as um Kayali sweet diamond pink pepper 25 it's just that the rose notes in this is a bit stronger and the oud notes in it like the oudy feeling it is a bit stronger even though it doesn't have any oud notes in it but the, it just it just smells very middle eastern 
if I do say so myself. <laughs> it just smells very Middle Eastern. Um, now I can't compare it to any of Montau's rose fragrances, so like a rose mask and all, because I have never tried those. But I think it's a really nice rose fragrance. Now, in terms of the performance, in terms of the projection, rather, I think it lasts for about. Um, it, it, it projects quite well so i can smell it and it smells quite strong for about the first six to eight hours so i have ex you know tried it on and you know stayed with it and even when you take a shower with this one you kind you can kind of still smell it it's quite a strong fragrance and i think that's typical of like montau's fragrances so yeah that's that's my thought in terms of the performance of now the price point um the price for this one the 100 ml retails for just under 90 euros so about 87 euros 50 i'll do the conversion and i'll put it somewhere up on the screen and the 50 ml retails for about 54 euros so i went with the 50 ml obviously because i like i have mentioned on the channel before i have got a couple of fragrances i don't want to buy big bottles and then i can't get through them and then maybe the fragrance expires and all of that i also don't want to be wasteful so i am buying fragrances in like small bottles sorry to to try them now, in terms of my personal thoughts on this fragrance i really like it actually um i personally think that if you have sweet diamond pink pepper 25 or you've got like a fragrance like oud bouquet they, it gives me that same sort of feel now i'm not saying they smell the same but i think it gives me that same sort of rose oudy feel you know so do i think you need multiple rose oud perfumes in your collection well that's for you to decide i personally don't think i need a repeat of similar vibe of fragrances in my collection i don't think so i think if one fragrance gives me that vibe then i move on to something else you know i don't want to have the same repeat of the same type of fragrances in my collection and that's just my personal opinion however i think it's such a beautiful fragrance like i think it's so lovely it gives me a very grown vibe now sweet diamond pink pepper 25 gives me more of a girly feeling and that might just be because of its packaging which is pink this gives me more grown this gives me more here's my credit card put it on my credit card i don't want to have too much of a conversation this makes me want to put on a sari this one makes me want to put, want to put on like a really beautiful dress you know Th that's my personal thoughts on it i like it i will be wearing it i think it's quite unique i think it will be a very nice fragrance to layer with as well i see myself layering this with like a sweet fragrance so with vanilla fragrances for sure i personally will not layer this with a floral fragrance and that's just because i think the floral notes in this fragrance is quite i, I personally think that the floor sorry guys like i said i'm multitasking i personally think that the floral notes in this fragrance is very strong so i if i were to layer this with another floral fragrance i think it would just be too overpowering so i'll rather layer this with like a vanilla or a sweet fragrance um that's my personal now opinion in terms of blind buying do i think this is blind buy worthy again it depends if you're the sort of person who likes rose this is blind buy worthy in my opinion definitely um if the oud in it is the oudy feel in it is tolerable because it's got those sweet notes that balance it perfectly so if you like rose this is blind by worthy on the other hand if you do not like rose you should not be going anywhere close to this because it will just turn you off and i know usually when you buy a fragrance from a house and it's not what you were expecting or it's not something you like sometimes it can put you off that house totally and there might just be something else in montal that you know is for you so this might not be for you they have so many other fragrances i am planning to do a review of the whole house if that's something you want to see comment it down in the comment section when the people ask priscilla delivers i was actually sent a few samples um so i was sent three when you purchase from the website directly you are sent three samples oh the bottom of that sample fell out but yeah that's it there so i was sent i wasn't given the option to choose what free you know samples i wanted like you know i think mfk gives you that option like you get samples but you also get to choose what what sample you want i don't think they gave me the option i think they just chose for me but yeah anyways they sent me oud pashmina they sent me a sample of dark vanilla and they also sent me a mini sample of crazy in love which i'll be throwing in my bag 
<laughs> um, so I'll be throwing that in my bag actually and I'll be carrying that everywhere I go so that if I need to top up at any point then I can top up but yeah so I'll be doing a few a, a full house review um, if that's something you guys want to see but yeah that's it about this fragrance I really really like it I really 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 like it I think it's a nice fragrance have any questions burning questions that you think i have not addressed in this video please comment it down in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer the questions yeah. when people or when i want to buy fragrances sometimes i actually i like to watch youtube videos like this and i really hope i have answered those questions but if not like i've said comment them them down in the comment section i'm very happy to answer help me grow my youtube channel please like please share please subscribe please do all of that good stuff like let this help this channel to grow i hope you enjoyed i like, see you again in my next look forward to seeing you again in my next one stay blessed hi and bye